Hold up, let me hit you with some knowledge real quick about Polish chickens. Seriously though, they're lit. So if you're considering getting some chickens, you could get some of these guys, but I consider them boring. I think you should get a Polish chicken instead. So here's all the info you need on Polish chickens. Let's start with their appearance. You can tell they're Polish by their super unique head feathers. Both men and women will develop these, although they will have slight differences between the sexes. Between the sexes. The girls look like pom-poms, and the boys look like mops. Check out the other video I made once for more information on that. Little mini tiny cute baby Polish chicks even look unique. When they're babies, they have this cute little bouffant. So their hair does all the cool shit because they actually have bony prominences on their skull. Some have beards and some do not. If you've seen my silky video, we've discussed chicken haircuts. These guys sometimes need haircuts as well in order to see better. <laughs> Similar to myself, they do get startled easily. Don't startle your chickens though, folks. They're pretty good in the heat, just not so good in the cold. Their head feathers are actually prone to get all icy and stuff, so be careful with that in the seasons. But better overall in weather than other delicate breeds? Just take the precautions that you would with regular chickens probably, but if you live in warm climates, they'll do real good. You can get Polish in either bantam size or just regular size. For an ornamental breed, they do lay a surprising number of eggs. We average at about 150 a year. And out of all the chickens I've had, Polish are always the most curious. They really are so inquisitive. Mittens, who's your friend? Um, they will get into everything, so look out for what you're keeping in your coop in your yard, because they're going to break right into it. But overall, they're pretty calm little guys. Oh yeah, and they fly pretty good too. Spend some extra time with them as baby chicks. I have been attacked by other people's Polish roosters because they weren't people ready. And one of my own, he was a dick. The Polish roosters I've had have almost always been nice though. My favorite chicken in the whole world was a Polish rooster. His name was Mittens. And he came everywhere with me. Restaurants, inside the house, on walks. He was delightful. And again, with that inquisitive nature, he loved sprinklers so much. Look at him go. Then I got a tattoo of him. Look at all the colors they come in. You've got lace. Dan Tolbunt. White crested black. And... Just kidding, that's a Houdon, which looks a lot like a Polish. You can tell Houdons and Polish part because Polish only have four toes. Houdons have five. This one's just a mix of whatever. You can get them with the frizzle gene too if you'd like. And if you're wondering what you should feed these guys, I'd highly encourage you to try Grub Terra Soldier Fly Larva. Mine love this stuff. Use code MOPOOFLES for 10% off. Link in the description. Polish chickens have a long and storied history with some records showing they've been around for centuries. And big shout out to Leonardo AI for providing me with these uh, wonderful images. They've been depicted in paintings that date way back to the 1600s, and that's about all we know. So yeah, because of their hairdos, personality, eggs, and history, you should buy one. I've gotten some good show quality Polish birds from hatcheries. Sometimes I have them shipped directly to my house like that. Or sometimes there's good local breeders online. I ain't pulling your leg, brosif. I ain't throwing no shade at all the other types of gallus.
But for real, these birds are cool as fuck. Okay, there's no more facts. Bye. Thanks for watching, and every time you subscribe, it helps my channel. Check out my new website, onlyhens.info. It will only be live until October of 2024 because that's how long I can afford it. If you or someone you know is really into the silkies, check out my new merch. I made these. They are on Etsy. Link in the description. Howdy there, my name's the Bacon Bandit, the greasiest gunslinger in the West. Birds are not real. And subscribe to Mo Poofles. See you around.